Hello everybody, here we are today talking about Connor Hillebuck, who's off to a hot start to the season and looking at what the season could have in store for him. So before we get started with it, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So I feel like two things that we could go out there and say right off the bat that aren't very controversial is the fact that Connor Hellebuck is one of the better goalies in the NHL at the moment and is also one of, if not the most important player in this version of Winnipeg Jets history. He has been able to greatly contribute to what Winnipeg has done over the past few years and he has been able to see some of that success for himself in terms of contracts and money but also in terms of accolades like winning the business twice. But I think right now we could say that he is very well going to go out there and maybe even get his third visit at the moment. It might seem a little bit crazy considering the fact that he's only played three games, but he has started all three games for Winnipeg. And wouldn't you know it, the Chits are undefeated in that time. Looking at some of his numbers, they are very, very impressive. He has allowed two goals in three games, has a 976 save percentage in that time, has a shutout, a 6 0 win over the Edmonton Oilers, a team that went to the Stanley Cup final last year and has not allowed a goal on the PK at all this season, was able to clutch up with a pair of 2-1 overtime victory wins against the Edmonton, excuse me, Chicago Blackhawks and Minnesota Wild, and all just kind of make you say, wow, this has really been a good start to the year for him, and you might ask, why is this so important? And I think in some ways you could look at it as more of the simple answer. It's important because Winnipeg is getting off to a good start this year, Teams like Colorado and Nashville are kind of stumbling out of the gate and you're looking like Colorado right now is winless through their first, what, three or four games. That's big. And they're kind of hanging out there with a team like Dallas where they know they're going to be competing for them with the division title and maybe even the top spot in the Western Conference. Who knows at the moment? But I think on the flip side of this, you're kind of looking at this as a big deal for Connor Hillebuck's legacy because Hellebuck is a player that you might not think about now, but he is 31 years old and is already top 10 all time and wins by American goalies and is actually 7th at the moment and isn't too far away from passing Mike Richter for 6th all time. And he will very well be in the top 5 by the time his career is said and done and probably go even further than that at the moment. Now I do think one big thing that you could be looking at for Hellebuck is the fact that he's not really seen a lot of playoff success and people could kind of knock him for that. But at the same time too, getting another visit would be a very big step for him. And it would be kind of something that'd be impressive as well because you think about the fact that we haven't had a goalie go out there and win back-to-back business since I believe Martin Brodeur in the late 2000s. He actually had a span of winning four and five years. Gonna have to do a video about that over at some point. But for a guy like Hellebuck, this would be, again, kind of a good thing for him and might make the path for himself a little bit easier in the playoffs. And that's something where you would like to see him go out there and step up because they've not gone on many deep runs before with him being there. And I know it's kind of refreshing where we talk about it's good to see a guy go out there and stay with a team that might not be one of those destination hotspots. But at the same time, too, you do want to go out there and see them go on runs where maybe they have the opportunity to go out there and claim the Stanley Cup. And I'm going to compare him to a goalie that's not an American goalie, but a Russian goalie, and that's Sergei Bobrovsky. And I think his and Bob's careers match each other a little bit. As you're looking at guys that we will have good seasons, but up until last year, Sergei Bobrovsky was not viewed in certain light. And I think part of that was the fact that he never won a championship. And people really did like to see him have that knock on Bob. But guess what? He's got that championship now. And I think that really does impact his legacy quite a bit and how people view him. And Hellebuck is kind of similar in that way. I do think that, again, a lot of differences. But I would just hate to see Connor Hellebuck go out there and never claim a championship. Is he going to go out there and win the championship this year just because he wins the Vezina? No. If that was the case, he would already be a two-time Stanley Cup champion. But if you're looking at things like here where we talked about legacy and being one of those better American goalies, Guys like Richter that are up there for, you know, near top five. He has a Stanley Cup. Presso has two Stanley Cups. And I think a couple other guys that are there, like Jonathan Quick, he's got a pair as well. So if you want to be considered a top American goalie, a championship would be nice to go along with a lot of those regular season numbers. And again, like we already talked about, it would help you get there to the playoffs if you have a Vezina caliber season. So we're only three games in all this, but I would say that it's not that abnormal or that crazy of a thought to imagine Connor Hellebuck going out there and winning it. And again, I think it would be a really good testament to him for being able to go out there and get it after winning it last year and being a workhorse that will give you over 60 starts, you know, virtually every season if he has to, definitely over 50. And with him getting that eight-year deal, I would just like to see him get as much value as he can for himself, but also for the Winnipeg Jets. As this was a team that a couple of years ago, I was feeling like they were in a very precarious spot. But now with Hellebuck being a good player and helping this team out, as well as a lot of other things going well for them, that was, again, partly their decisions, they are in a good situation. Maybe not perfect, but a lot better than I thought they were going to be. 
and I want to see this team actually do something. So Hellebuck could be laying the foundation for what could be another really good year where maybe they go out there and they win the division and do something for the first time since, what, 2018, 2019, sometime around there. I don't know. Just a lot of things that could impact him in the team, but I'm really hoping that this could be a high-quality season because I just like watching goalies have good years. And Hellebuck has been able to throw out there and have a lot of good seasons for himself. So I enjoy that. So anyway, what are your thoughts on Connor Hellebuck's start of the season? Do you think this is going to be something where he could have maybe the best season of his career? Or do you think that he will fall back a little bit? Again, 976 is not going to be something that sticks for the whole year. But maybe he goes 930 or something like that. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you go off all key all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.